sinus graft was performed with vertical and horizontal GBR. Slightly lingualized incision and a cutback incision at 120 degree on the distal side was placed. Also, vertical incision with hot Q-stip shape was placed at the medial side of the adjacent teeth. After the flap reflection, copious irrigation was performed and the gray area reveals the position of the lateral wall of the sinus. SLA Reamer from SLA Kit, Neobiotech of Korea, was used for the osteotomy. Within a minute, lateral wall was created without any perforation of the membrane. Using curved elevators from the kit, the Schneiderian membrane was carefully elevated from the sinus floor. Using Valsalva method, the absence of perforation was confirmed visually. The bone graft materials was BIOS pen from Geistlich company, and 1.5 cc was prepared. The graft was carefully inserted into the sinus cavity, and great caution was applied not to accidentally perforate the membrane. It is usually convenient to graft the distal area first, then the medial and the medial side. Periosteal releasing incision was placed for the tension-free primary closure. Bioguide membrane, which is resorbable collagen membrane, was trimmed to fit over the defect. The rest of the bios bone graft was grafted for the vertical and horizontal GBR. The bioguide membrane was carefully applied and the slight drop of saline was applied to provide better adaptation. Also, additional membranes were applied for the double layer technique. Interrupted and modified loyal sutures were performed, and finally, the tension free primary closure was obtained. The radiograph after the surgery shows the well placed graft materials inside the sinus and also on the crestal area. <laughs>